Hi viewers, in this video we are going to learn design of flexible pavement as per the Indian Road Congress 37 to the 12. Already we had discussed in the video 2 what is meant by pavement. The pavement means we are going to talk about the thickness, various thickness of your pavement layers. So it is called as a pavement. The pavement we will classify two categories. One is a flexible pavement, another one is a rigid pavement. The flexible pavement means it is a bitumen pavement or asphalt pavement. The rigid pavement means it is a cement concrete pavement. So now we are going to discuss or we are going to learn design of flexible pavement as per the Indian Road Congress that is the IRC 37 2012 latest version. Before going into detailed design of flexible pavement design, so we need to know what is the difference between the flexible pavement and rigid pavement. The flexible pavement means it is a asphalt or bitumen pavement. Rigid pavement means it is a cement concrete pavement. Already I said this one. The flexible pavement have a different layers like subgrade. The first layer is subgrade or we can call it as a natural ground level. Above the natural ground level, we will lay the sub-base course. Above the sub-base, we can go for the base course. Above the base course, we will lay the surface course. It is the last course of your flexible pavement. So, this is the arrangement of your flexible pavement, different layers. Now, we can see the rigid pavement. The rigid pavement, the number of layers is very less. The first is a subgrade or natural ground level. Above the subgrade or natural ground level, we are going to lay the base course. Above the base course, you can lay the cement concrete slab. So this is the arrangement of your rigid pavements. So now I hope you can understand what is the difference between the flexible pavement and rigid pavement. Now we will discuss the design of flexible pavement in detail. Before going into detailed design of flexible pavement design, so we require these are the designs to carry out our flexible pavement. The first detail is A. The A means initial traffic after completion of road construction. So we need to calculate this one. So for calculating this A, that is the initial traffic, we need these are the details. The first one P. The P means traffic intensity, that is the traffic volume, the last traffic count. That is a 7 days, 24 hours classified traffic you need to collect before going into your design of flexible pavement. The next data is small r. The small r means it is the annual growth rate of your commercial vehicles. This annual growth rate is available in your IRC 37. So if it is not available, just you take 7.5% for the rural roads and 10 percentage for your urban roads. The next detail is small x. Small x means construction period of roads. The next one small n. Small n means it is a design life in terms of years. It will be available in IRC 37. So as per 37 national highway that is a NS 15 years life period. Expressway and urban roads it is a 20 years. All other roads, it is a 10 to 15 years. This is the design of your flexible pavement roads. The next detail is capital D. Capital D means lane distribution factor and F is equal to vehicle damage factor. These two factors you can refer IRC 37. You will get the details from the code. The design of flexible pavement as per the Indian Road Congress that is IRC 37-2012. So you can calculate the first one capital N. The capital N means it is a cumulative number of standard axle that is we can call it as an in terms of M S A that is a million standard axle. First you can calculate the capital N that is a million standard axle. Based on the million standard axle and the CBR value of the soil, we can find the total thickness of pavement. To calculate the cumulative number of standard axle, use this formula that is N is equal to 365 multiplied by capital A multiplied by 1 plus R power N minus 1 divided by small r and multiplied by D into F. So this is a formula you can use to calculate the cumulative number of standard axle. 
the 365 denotes the number of days per year, the A denotes the initial traffic after completion of the road, the R denotes annual growth rate of commercial vehicles, the N denotes design life of the roads, D denotes lane distribution factor, F denotes vehicle damage factor. Let us start the design of flexible pavement. So before going to calculate capital N, we need to calculate capital A. The capital A means initial traffic after completion of the road construction. So calculate the capital A by using this formula that is A is equal to P multiplied by 1 plus R power X. P means the last count of traffic that is before construction. R denotes the annual growth of your traffic. X denotes the number of construction period of your road. So you can calculate the capital A by using this formula you will get the value in terms of commercial vehicles per day that is a CVPD commercial vehicles per day. For example you can calculate the capital A. So I have taken some of the values the value I taken P 1200 annual growth rate for the rural rate I taken 7.5 percentage. This is a construction period of the road. I taken two years. By using these are the values, you will get the capital A. After calculation of capital A, use this value in this formula and calculate the capital N that is the cumulative number of standard axle. Now we will calculate the cumulative number of standard axle by example. So the N is equal to 365 multiplied by the A value we have calculated already 1387 CVPD multiplied by 1 plus the R value already we have taken 0 0.075 that is 7.5 percentage of annual growth rate power N N is design life of the road so I considered 20 is the design life minus 1 divided by again R value that is annual growth rate 0 0.075 multiplied by the lane distribution factor. The lane distribution factor and vehicle damage factor refer IRC 37 page number 11 and 12 table 1 and other table you can refer. So based on the IRC 37, the lane distribution factor capital D, you can take the value from the IRC. The IRC given the single carriageway for the both direction of the vehicle, dual carriageway, two lane for the two way roads, two lane for the single direction, two way for the both direction. Like that so many category of the roads are available based on the your road category use the value for the capital D. So for example 0 0.75 and multiplied by F value it is a F means vehicle damage factor. The vehicle damage factor also available based on your A value that is a CVPD value. So for example it is 3.5. Now, based on this values, you can calculate the N, that is a number of standard axle. You will get the, suppose, 57 MSE, million standard axle, that is a cumulative million standard axle value. After calculation of capital N, that is a number of cumulative standard axle, in terms of MSA million standard axle. So refer Indian Road Conquest that is the IRC 37 code for design of flexible pavement. In this code book so many charts are available based on the million standard axle. They are given different charts based on the 1 to 10 million standard axles and 10 to 150 million standard axles for different CBR values. Based on the calculated N value and the CBR value of your field that is the California bearing ratio of your soil so you can choose the chart for example I considered the CBR value for the field 6 percentage so calculated N value 57 so based on the CBR value the N value it is accumulated traffic that is N value our calculated N value is 57 the N value falls for the cumulative traffic in between 
50 to 100. For 50 MSA, it is total thickness 675 mm. For 100 MSA, the total thickness 700 mm. Our calculated MSA value in between 50 to 100, that is a 57 MSA. So we need to calculate the total thickness 675 to 700 mm in between. Based on this chart, for 50, 675 mm, for 100, 700 mm total thickness. But our calculated MSA is 57. So you will get the total thickness of the pavement by using interpolation of the values 675 to 700 and find the total thickness of the pavement. It may be around 682 mm. Based on the calculated total thickness that is 682 mm, you can draw the final diagram of your different layers for the pavement thickness. The first one, subgrade or natural ground level. Above the subgrade and natural ground level, the first course is subbase course. The value given 260 mm for the common to all the thickness. Base course 250 mm. This subbase course and base course values are given in the chart itself. Then DBM, dense bituminous macadam road, that is a 130 mm. BC, bituminous course, it is a 40 mm. These are the values are given in the chart itself. So, all together, you will get the total thickness 682 mm for your proposed road layers. So, this is the design of flexible pavement layers for your proposed roads. Hi viewers, thank you for watching this video. Hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, kindly share, subscribe and press the bell button.